What's going on, guys? So I have to uh, talk with the cyber instance response people. Let me see if I can do that. And this thing is that amount of USDC is so that way it's the highest amount of crime. That's the lowest amount for the crime it could be. Now, what it is, <clears throat> this bitch is still contacting me. Well, at least she was as of last night. This bitch has still been contacting me. I've archived the chat. She'll probably delete it at some point when she realizes what's going on. Hey, look, I showed her. I showed her how the the coin cart people I posted it on Twitter said that is not our website. Okay? They had to get fooled. They basically said it was an inside job. Okay? So <coughs> um someone is setting up fake websites with the coin cart information. And doing real trades on it and manipulating those trades. So long and short, what's going on is I made too much money too fast on that thing. Tiffany thought that she could like funnel money or look, if that's not Tiffany, then whoever the fuck it is. But right, like we've got verified pictures of Tiffany. I got Tiffany's account number on that shit. EV Magazine writes articles about me. Tiffany talks about me in the, art, in the Korea shit. It's fucking crazy. I think I stumbled upon a fucking decade-long scam of, like, Binance Insider trading, and they're using, like, their kids and shit like that to, like, hide shit, because Tiffany went bankrupt a few years ago. It was all over the article, like, Asha was the one who found that shit for me, how Tiffany goes bankrupt and all that bullshit. Around the same time, she comes back to America in 2017, 2018, and all of a sudden, this bitch is supposed to have a bunch of money and whatnot. I don't know. I mean, like, you make sales in, in won, not in dollars. You're not going to fucking make that much money doing that shit. I knew something was up. Also, since she would not leave me the fuck alone, no matter how many times I blocked her or whatever the fuck, she kept making new accounts, new accounts. So I said, fuck it. Let's just go along and see what happens with it. You don't understand how peaceful it's been. Since I gave that bitch, and I look, it's still like, it's, it's fraud. It's online fraud because that's a fake website. If that was a real website, it'd be no problem. The other thing, I'm not too worried about it because in the grand scheme of things, $100,000 isn't even that much money. You guys literally saw me say no to selling for a million dollars and just twiddle my thumbs for a year. I don't really care. All I really want to do is just play my emulators and keep on hacking. I'm going to get a bunch more money than that before you know it. Trust me. What I did learn from all this thing, it has nothing to do with Tiffany, is I found out why I started off trading so good on Forex and then ended up so bad. I started off trading the four hour and the one day, and I was like, wow, I'm making pretty good money. I'm making like $3,000 a day. This is pretty cool. And I, then I lost my job because of COVID, and then the pandemic started and all that bullshit because Booz Allen's a fucking cult, I swear to God. And, um... Um, I started trading on the one minute chart instead of on the four hour and one day chart. And as I understand it, the one minute chart is suicide. And I found that out the hard way. Fucking one minute chart. Anyways, so I'm just going to start playing the trade signals on Binance Pro and, or whatever the fuck it is. The Binance, le the legitimate crypto futures. I'm going to start doing that because I was, as long as I stick to the original plan of the four hour and one day charts, I think I'll be doing good. And what it was, was I actually, I remember I stopped trading on the one minute chart and then I went back to the one day chart and I was like, oh, okay, US dollar is oversold. So I'm going to go ahead and short that versus the great British pound. And I was up by like $2,000 and I was just getting greedy and was like, let's get to 3000 and then we'll, then we'll cash out. I need a whole payday. And then, um, 
Trump came on TV and goes, I'm going to print a trillion dollars for the... I was like, ah, fuck! And then everything tanked because it's fucking... Anyways. Yo, uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to get that bitch caught. It's just what it is. Like, it's just what it is. You can't do that shit. This bitch shows habitual boundary overstepping and habitual, like, grab assery and habitual like being owed money and all that bullshit i blame look it's sad that all that bullshit to her family or whatever when she was young but it's not my problem and if it's not that bitch it's someone associated with her the bank accounts will show that shit and all the other shit and i just am glad i don't have to drink any more of those stupid teas those teas are gross as fuck i was just playing along god damn it so fucking long of getting to the just she will not get to she actually thought she was like controlling me and wrapping her around my finger i mean around her finger by like talking about like one day we'll get married and one day we'll have kids i was like yeah sure whatever bitch what are you up to what are you up to that's so important that you can't that you have to have me with you that you no matter how many times i block you you make a new one so basically what it was was last night she i was looking for it and then i stopped she basically said that she was going to give me the 75000 or the 70000 Because according to the way the scam works, it's you're only allowed to get other people's money, the scam, the winnings, when you have enough of your money put in. So I only put in 175 and I wanted to pull out... Um, no, I, I only pulled out 100 but uh, put in 100 but I was trying to pull out um, 150 so they wanted me to have 175 in to give me 150 so I would still like come back and keep on doing shit. And I was like, I'm not putting in any more money because like, I knew what it was and I had, had re my, re reached my quota to get that bitch arrested and all that bullshit. And then she basically said that she was going to give me the money to pay into the scam and then let me keep the money I earned after I take the money out, which would be a $350,000 bribe. And all she wanted me to do was to like help her keep on stealing people's money and secure the website that is a clone of CoinCarp. And I said no, and I reported it to the Interpol and FBI. And I have all the transactions, say 11 transactions over two weeks, all that bullshit. I knew she was up to something. You don't do all this bullshit for nothing. She keeps talking about capitalists and the evil capitalists and all this bullshit. When I told her it was a fake website, she said, do you want to make money or not? She didn't say, oh, she didn't say, no, it's not. She didn't say, oh, I'm getting scammed too. She said, do you want to make money or not? Okay. Interpol. I think it would be fantastic if at one of her fan meetings, that bitch got to, gets arrested. I don't know if that will happen or not. It's got nothing to do with me. And finally, my phone is not going off every five fucking minutes. Normal people just video chat. I told that bitch since day one, normal people just video chat. I video chatted last night. I'll probably video chat again sometime later this week. That's all there really is to it. Normal people just video chat. Constantly, all day long, with the motherfucking text and gaslighting bullshit, you stupid hag. Seriously. It was my pleasure to put up the bait to get your ass caught. Because you will not leave me the fuck alone. You are annoying. Annoying as fuck. You could have just showed up. I would have fucked your brains out, and that would have been it. You had to keep on annoying me, and annoying me, and annoying me, and Maryland, and D.C., and you, it's because your stupid fucking family is a bunch of criminals, and they control you, and they basically pimped you out to a Korean record company, and you're miserable for it, and you've never had any life of your own to call your own. You can't even do it now. Everything you do is based around your aunt. My aunt wants to buy shoes. My aunt wants to do this. My aunt wants to do that. My, aunt, my uncle's doing an investment scam. Why don't you help me and my uncle? You don't even know who the fuck you are. And as sad as it is, it probably is because your mom died when you were 11. And everyone else has been trying to fill a void for you that really you should have been filling for yourself. Like, I do not understand what it's like to go through that. But it's not really my problem at this point in time. I'm also not going to understand what it's like to go through to get arrested in the middle of a fan meeting in Thailand by Interpol. I don't care. Just thank you for leaving me alone. Just keep leaving me the fuck alone. If you would have left me the fuck alone in the first place, none of this would have been happening. None of this. The only thing I'm really pissed about is that I wasn't able to make one more withdrawal to get my niece her money back. 
that's the thing I'm pissed off about. I'm still going to pay her back because it's not that much money. I'm going to start working two jobs and be making like $40,000 a month anyways, legitimately, and still trading, and I need to pick up bug bounties too. Like seriously, if I cared about money, I would have sold for the million dollars. None of this was about money. This was about my, honestly, what this really was about was a Hail Mary to try to save my, my parents because when I had the million dollars and I offered to buy the house, they told me not to do it, not to worry, to maybe keep $20,000 for them if they need it. That was literally what they told me. They could have just said like, every other time in their life when they needed help, they'd like, when I was like seven, they got me an adult paper route. When I was like 11, I had to do like, paper routes every day. Like it was just like, always adult when I was 16, you know, drop out and get a job. You know, like they can ask me for help every single time. But when I actually have the money, they don't ask me for help. So that's just annoying. So I really don't care about, do you want to be honest? I got a little bored with Theta around the time of the NFTs. I was like, all this hype for this shit. So then I just started like buying the ones from the people in Argentina and shit like that. Because at least, or wherever Conegelo's from. Because at least, you know, it'll mean more to them. Because they're actually trying to like eat and shit like that. I'm not buying a John Heater fucking scribble. Come on, man. It's bullshit. But anyways, you have no idea. Dude, I slept so good last night. Like, I'm not sure if you can see them, but I think I have no bags under my eyes. Because I was able to sleep without my phone going off. Ding, 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 ding. So now, I'm going to explain everything I told you to Interpol. About how Tiffany basically offered me a $350,000 bribe to help her keep on scamming innocent people. Tiffany Wang is a criminal. Have a nice day, guys.